In terms of advice on how to conduct innovation, I think it's a matter of looking for problems that haven't been solved, or perhaps better yet, looking for problems that are currently being solved in old-fashioned ways. If you can do something that's better, faster or cheaper, then you will certainly find a market for your product. Hi, I'm Paul Gray, CEO of Coda Wireless. Coda was founded back in 2004 when we were spun out of the University of South Australia to commercialise some technology that had been developed there. And the sweet spot we found for that technology has been this emerging market of vehicle-to-vehicle -vehicle and vehicle-to-infrastructure communications. The benefits are potentially quite huge, and both in terms of safety, mobility and the environment. So how does the system work? Imagine driving down the road towards an intersection, another car is approaching on the side road, you've got the right of way but the other car is travelling too fast and, it, and it's not going to stop in time. Well with the equipment in both vehicles, they can detect the presence of the other vehicle and they can generate a warning that you're about to have an accident to allow both drivers to uh, avoid having a collision. Likewise, imagine you're equipping the traffic lights so that they are broadcasting signal phase and timing information. Literally, the, the lights are currently red and in 12 seconds time they're going to turn green. Your vehicle could receive a message so it could tell you what your optimal speed is to get the next green light. You could keep driving at the speed limit and get the next red light or drive at you know, 10 kilometres an hour below the speed limit and sail through on the green. There's a lot of environmental benefits that can come from that. Coda has been involved in trials in Germany, in France, in Italy, here in Australia, um, in the US where the US Department of Transport has had 2,800 vehicles on the road of Ann Arbor, Michigan for the last two years to really test how well these systems can work in practice. And now we're really starting to see the transition from trials to production. GM is the first car maker to commit to putting these systems into um, production vehicles and Coda is supplying all the V2X software that is going into that production vehicle. Innovation needs a critical mass to really take off. So that's the key, I think, in South Australia is to, to really try and build that hothouse environment for ideas. There's the obvious advantages of South Australia in, in terms of lifestyle and cost of living. It's also great access to um, engineering talent. I think it's, you know, South Australia has a long history of both automotive and aerospace and I think you know, we can really draw upon that pool of resources to, to build our company. Industries that get disrupted have both the people who are disrupting it and of course the ones who are being disrupted. So you really got to take a long hard look at things and say well if I'm not doing the disrupting am I actually the one who's going to be disrupted? <music>